Hello and welcome to today's Focus on the Test mini lesson. Welcome to all of our subscribers and thank you very much for joining us. Also to our students, continue the excellent progress that you're making and remember that your labor is not in vain. It will pay off in the end. If you are an adult seeking to earn your high school credential, be sure to check out our website at www.yourpathforadultlearners.com where you can learn more about our online GED and HiSET program. So now on to our lesson for the day. So now here's what a test item may look like. Which of these statements best describes what is shown in the graph? And here you have your graph, and then you have your three options down below. So option A states, the number of learners we've had in our college has dropped significantly over the last five years. Option B, there has been a small decrease in the number of learners in our college over the last five years. And option C, there has been no significant change in the number of learners in the last five years. So now based on the data that is presented in the chart, it is your job to determine which of the three options would best describe the information that's being presented in the graph. So now here's where you have to interpret what information is presented in the graph. So now let's discuss it. So now let's get into solving this particular problem. So as we've discussed in previous videos, you want to make sure that you always read the information on your chart or your graph or your table before you actually begin to solve any of these sort of problems. So now what we have here is we have a graph. And if we first read our title, which is the first thing that you want to do, here we have number of learners in a college over five years. So this is the information that's actually being presented to us. You want to make sure that you also familiarize yourself with the other information that's on the graph as well. So here at the bottom of the graph, we have numbers that run from 0 to 6 and the word years here. So we immediately know that these are the years that are actually being represented on the, uh, on the graph. So we have zero to six years. On the left side of the graph, we actually have number of learners. We, we have numbers that run from 510 to 550. So these are the number of learners, and this is the range, okay, that this graph actually covers. So now that we have familiarized ourselves with the graph, we then want to look at what's being presented on the graph. So here we have a line on this graph. So this is a line graph. And when we come here, we see that in year one, we had a total of 545 students. However, when we look at this graph, we see that the number of students began to fall from year one to year two. So it falls from 545 students to when we get to year two, we have 530 number of learners in a college over five years. So from years one to two, we have decreased our enrollment from 545 to 530. Then from year two to year three, we see an, a slight increase. So here we increase from 530 to roughly around 533, okay? Because we're not actually touching the uh, 535 mark so this will be anywhere from probably 534, okay? That's year three because this point here actually aligns to year three. 
Then we see that it dramatically falls, which it significantly falls from year three to year five. So then we have a decline from 535 roughly of number of learners to when we get to year five, we have about 512, okay? Or 513 or any number in between 510 to 515, but it's not actually at 515 because it did not hit this mark here, okay? So we have roughly about 512 students or 13 students enrolled, okay? So that's what we have. So we see that this information is actually showing us that there was a decline in enrollment when you look at the entire five years, we have 545 students initially at year one, but by the time we get to year five, we see that we've dropped all the way down to 513 roughly, okay? So now when we come here to our options, we wanna choose an option that represents what this data is displaying, okay? So now let's look at the options again. We have option A, the number of learners we've had in our college has dropped significantly over the last five years. Well, it appears that this information is actually true. So we're not really sure, but it appears that this will work for us, but we wanna continue to look at our other options as well. So we're just going to hold out on option A because there may be a possibility that this one works. Okay, so now let's look at option B. Option B states, there has been a small decrease in the number of learners in our college over the last five years. Well, this says a small decrease which is a key term in this particular option here, small increase. Well, when we look at our chart, do we see a small increase? Would you say that 545, a drop from 545 to nearly 513 is a small drop, okay? Because we're actually looking at roughly about students here, okay? So will we say that's a small drop or a pretty large drop, okay, when we talk about enrollment. So we know that option B, it has a flaw, okay? There's not actually a small decrease, but we would consider it greater decrease, okay? All right, so then we're gonna look at option C and we have, there has been no significant change in the number of learners in the last five years. Would we say that there has been no significant change? Is that a true statement? Would you consider that a true statement? And according to our graph, again, a decrease from 545 to 513 in enrollment is not what we would consider no significant change. So we know that option C will not work. So for this particular, problem, we see that option A is the better choice, okay, or is the best conclusion to draw from the data that's being presented in this particular chart, because once again, option A states the number of learners we've had in our college has dropped significantly, and that's the key term here, or key terms dropped significantly. Okay, that means that it's a noticeable change in the decrease or the decline in enrollment over the last five years. So we know that option A for this particular problem would be the correct choice. So to recap what it is that we've done in terms of finding the correct answer for this particular problem. And once again, we've made sure that we were 
familiar with the information that's being displayed in the graph, okay? Starting with our title, reading our title. Also familiarizing ourselves with the caption at the bottom and the information that's being presented at the bottom, which in this case would be the number of years running from zero to uh, six years here, but this chart actually covers um, over five years, okay, which includes the six years, okay, and then we have the number of learners, and we have the range from 510 learners upwards to 550 learners. And once you're familiar with this chart, you can then begin to analyze the options that are being presented to you and you want to identify that those key terms in the options that either are going to make your option valid or is going to make it invalid, okay? So in this case, our key terms were dropped significantly, small decrease, no significant change. And we were able to draw the correct conclusion based on the data that's being presented, selecting option A as our valid choice. So good luck testing. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification button down below so that you're notified on our new releases. Also, join us on our other social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.